Hi, I'm Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to resize multiple image at once inside of Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop. The first thing you want to do, you want to create a new folder right where you have the image you want to recite so you go into your file explorer and go to the place where you want to create the folder i already have mine as resizing image in that place you want to create another folder and you want to rename that first folder to original image and you create another folder And you rename this folder to resized image and hit enter now once you have done with all this stuff you want to locate the place where you have the image you want to resize or copy and paste the image you want to resize into the original folder but for now i don't have mine so i have to get pictures and put into the original folder so i'll right click this part and click on open a new window and I'll drag this to the left and set this to the right and look at where I have my pictures All right I'll copy five pictures into this folder so I'll hold on control on my keyboard and I'll click on the first one click on the second third fourth and fifth then i will hold on the left click on my mouse and drag to the original image and drop it there now i can go ahead and close all these windows because i'm done with them now back into photoshop you want to go to file and go to open now that you've gone to open you want to locate where you have the image you want to recite so i have mine in that disk resizing image original image then you click once and come down to open and click on open it's going to open the picture for you in photoshop now what you want to do you want to open up the action panel because this would be the one thing that will help you to resize the other image which you want to resize so if you don't have the action panel open just like me you go into window and look for what action and click on that or you press the alt plus f9 on your keyboard now you want to create a new action to do that you click on the folder icon you have here when you click on that it's going to open up a new set for you which you have right here now put in the name of the set but for this i'm going to name it resizing image and hit enter or hit on OK on my keyboard. Now it's going to create a new folder for me where I will have the action I will create in. Then to create the action, you click on the word, the new file icon you have here. When you click on that, it's going to open up a new action window for you where you can rename the action. From the set, you click on the drop down menu and select the folder where you want to put the action you are about to create i will leave mine in the resizing image click ok and i will rename the action to resizing image now i will hit on what record once you've hit on record you the action has what start recording whatever you do in photoshop it will be recorded in the action panel now it's time for us to resize the image how to do that we go into image and come down to what image size and image size window will open up for us now you want to put in the actual size you want to resize all the image into right now i will just play around with any size of my choice but make sure you put in the particular size you want to resize all the image into now before you do that make sure that what if this chain or the link icon is like this Make sure to click on that 
so that you release the linking between the width and the height. First, I will come down to the resolution and I will set the resolution to 300 as to which because if I set the width and the height and come down to set the resolution, it will affect both the width and the height. So I have to change the resolution first before I change the width and the height. Now I can just input the size I want to resize my pictures to. So I will make use of the 1080, come down to this file, make use of the 1350. Once you are done with that, go ahead and click on OK. Now, when you come down to the action part, you see that we have image size and the size of your image has changed automatically. Now, you want to save. To do this, you go to file, save as. Now, this time around, you want to save it into the word, the resized image folder. Now, browse through where you have the resized image folder, like mine, I have it in this PC. And the tutorial look at this resizing image and resized image double click on that it's going to open up the folder for you and come down to what save you can change the name if you like but i'm just going to leave the name that way and come down to what save and when i get saved it's going to open up the jpeg option where i can change the word the size of my image or the quality of my image but for this i'm just going to press ok now you've done these two steps. The last step to do is for you to close the image because if you did not close this image, the action is going to open up multiple windows for you in Photoshop. And if your system is not that high enough to process all those windows or to process the image, at this point, your system will freeze or will become very laggy. So you have to close this window, not Photoshop, the window or the document you open up in Photoshop. Now you have three ways of doing that. You can go to file and come down to word, close, which you have right here. Or you go down to word, to this part where you have the X icon and you click on that, it will close. Or you hit Ctrl plus W on your keyboard. But I will go to file and hit on word, close. Now. In the action, we have the word, the close. It's time for you to stop the action. Come down to the stop icon and click on that. All right, now that we have the action ready for us, we have to word, resize our multiple image now. So to do that, you go to file and you go to automate. From the automate, you select the batch, which is multiple image. In this part where you have the play, you said the word, the set, it said to what the action we just created. But if by any chance just is not being selected, click on the drop down menu and select the resizing image or whatever name you use in saving your action. And inside of the word action folder, it will pick the action inside of the word, the folder you pick up here. So the folder we have, the action we have inside of this folder is the word resizing image action. Right, so now click on any other part to so select that. Now, the source, click on the choose, which is the folder. Click on the choose and locate the folder where you have the image you want to resize. Like mine, I have it in this part. Come down to this part, double click on that. Resizing image, double click, original image. You click on that, just click once, don't double click, click once. And come down to this part and hit on select folder now the folder is being selected as you can see resizing image original image which is my look at this f now when you are done click on what okay and let the action please for you now if you have multiple image inside of Photoshop, inside of that folder it will take long to work process I just have five image inside and my system is a little bit high to process those image fast just as you can see it took less than five seconds to run those process so once it's done you go down to your file explorer i will just minimize photoshop for now now go down to my file explorer open it up and go to this pc 
and locate the folder where I have this image. I'll double click on that and go into resized image and now resized image. I'll double click on that. Now these are all the files, all, all the image we just resized. So let's check and see if we have the same size on every one of them. But first, look at this. You see, all the names is what? One. Right? Now, that is it. So what you want to do to confirm if all the images have been resized, you want to right click and go to properties. And when you go to properties, you go to the what? The detail tab. It will give you the size of the image, which is the dimension 1080 by 1350. 300 dpi that is what the resolution now click ok then go to the next image right click and go to properties now go to the detail tab as well as you can see we have it as to what the 1080 by 1350 and the 300 dpi as resolution now we'll click ok so that is going to be it on this tutorial if you like the video make sure to give a thumbs up Leave a comment that is if you have any issue and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Not just hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon too so that you get notified anytime I post a new video because I will be making a weekly tutorial on a speed painting and Photoshop tutorial. See you guys in my next class.